my timing basically revolves around you know two or three things that came together in my mind in terms of timing. One is, um, if I'm going to leave early, I think it makes a lot of sense to put it on the May ballot. Um, there's already a slew of good candidates. I think that most of the people in the community who had to go through the thought process of would I disrupt my life to run for an open seat have gone through that thought process, and there's a pretty good field. And then, yeah, I think there's a few on the bench that may still jump in. Um, the other option, if I didn't stay the whole time, becomes a special election if I miss the May cycle. And I think that's expensive and also very hard on candidates because they can't plan for it. So it really favors you know, somebody who's already elected. So I, you know, I th the May thing began to have some appeal to me. Um, uh, I'd like to do do the substantive work on this year's budget, which is, is what's going to happen in the next three months. I'm particularly interested in, in finishing up what I started with um, the oversight of the Portland Development Commission. This will be the second year that I'm chairing the oversight of their budget. and The first year that they legally have to let us. <laughs> um, last year, Potter assigned them to do that. And, and, and then I wanted to... Um, um, you know, my the things I really care about, sort of, I it's never quite as calculated as it might sound, but in, in the range of four or five years ago, I got in the midst of, you know, a series of things, the voter-owned elections. I've been, you know, with the election of Tom Potter, we ramped up the effort to try and uh, uh, change the Portland Development Commission, mm -hmm. um, certainly the PGE piece and the 10-year plan to end homelessness. I mean, those were the kind of the four things that I've been really honed in on the last four or five years and you're never quite done but they're kind of at resting places. You know, anytime time somebody's trying to describe something too logically that's basically in their gut, it doesn't always, you know, it's not completely right, but it's really in my gut that it's time for me to go. I'm, I'm a little bit tired. Um, I'm certainly a bit weary of being a public figure. And